Hi, my name is Valerie Wobert, and I'm the president of People's First of Winnipeg. The reason why I got interested into this documentary is because I want all the institutions closed and all the people put into the, into the community. Thank you very much. I, I lived in a small community called Poplar Point on the old 26 highway, and now it's like a ghost town. There's hardly anything left of it. Wouldn't that be awesome to actually go through Poplar Point, take some pictures there where I used to live and stuff? And the second house here is where I used to live. Right here. Yeah, that's When's where I used to live. <laughs> When's the last time you were here? Um, 10 years ago. Here's my, um, my, par my late parents that raised me, that took me in when I was 10 days old. Within that year, I was put into another foster home, and all I would do like stay like a stone statue. And, but then uh, they decided to take me back to the other foster home. So then I had to start going to psychologists and all that kind of stuff when I was younger too. Yeah, because of all the stress of not being loved and stuff in the one foster home. And see how, or see how much snow we got here? Holy, oh, this is a mate, my store where I used to go. That's the church I used to go to. Oh, here's the school. <laughs> I went to school from grade one and then to <coughs> two, and then I went to Portage for grade three. Like I was in grade three, and I had to go to special education in Portage Prairie, so I took a bus. So I was only eight years old. I would feel scared, because I'd be on the bus with all these other older kids. That's your school? Yeah, this is a school I used to go to. And I used to be like only a two-room school. Then in, in grade um, 10, 11, and 12, I uh, lived in Poplar Point and used to go to Portage in special education program out there. And um, one summer, I worked at the Mental Developmental Center. But uh, now I wouldn't work there. I went everybody with disabilities to live in a community, not in institutions. It, it happened to me. And I don't want it to happen to other people with disabilities. I was declared incompetent. I was under the public trustee for about a year and a half. I didn't have any freedom. I had to ask permission for when I wanted to go to, for a trip to Israel. I didn't have any control where I lived, my money. I had to prove to the psychologist that I was competent. Well, a long time ago, I lived in a large group home. Our goals were to um, live there and to try and get our, back out in the community. It was difficult. It, I, found it real, I found it difficult living in there. But because of my determination, I think that's how it got me back in, back in the community and getting off the public trustee. Well, thank you very much for bringing me out here.